So welcome. Uh, we are here in JAX today, JAX conference. And um, my name is Yolande Poirier. And my guest is uh, Gurjam. Hi, Gurjam. Hi. Um, I guess you don't need an introduction, but just tell us quickly what you do for Oracle. Uh, I'm a product manager working on uh, Oracle Jet, which is the topic of this uh, interview. Right. So yeah, that's my next question. So what is Oracle Jet? Um, Oracle Jet is a set of best practices and components that have been developed within Oracle over the last three years, focused on enterprise JavaScript. And it's been made uh, open source at the end of February. So now anyone can create JavaScript enterprise applications using open source libraries and uh, jQuery UI graph and chart components created by Oracle. Okay, so I mean, what can you use with it? I mean, is it really like just for Oracle products or because you can see, like you can visualize, right, data? Yes, yes. So initially it, uh, it came out of a need to have a standardized way for Oracle internal staff to create UIs for Oracle Cloud services. But now that it's open source, anyone can do anything they like with it. But um, one of the one of the really good aspects of it is the range of uh, charts and graphs and data visualization. So if you're creating a dashboard application that you want to run in the browser, on the desktop, and on mobile devices, then Jet is a really good option because it provides an out-of-the-box uh, convention over configuration architecture. It provides graphs and charts. It provides best practices and design patterns. A large community is growing around it. So it's a really good option to consider. So uh, can I use that with uh, an Oracle database? You say it's open source, but how do I plug my data into that tool? Like it's, it? it's purely a front-end solution. So it's purely JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Yeah. If you want to plug into any kind of backend, um, there isn't a specific um, uh, choice or whatever. Um, you would typically use REST um, to expose your data, and then you would use jQuery, um, which is integrated into JET to access that data. Uh, and use uh, AJAX calls and JSON calls within your JET application to get to get hold of that data. And then there are some very nice structures that uh, JET provides, such as grids and tables, um, as well as a backbone-like uh, MVC programming model um, for structuring that data and presenting it to users. Okay. So any tips or anything that uh, that you also presented a, a session about it like uh, today right yes so, so I, I presented a session on Oracle jet specifically yeah. and a second session called um, 10 awesome tips for enterprise JavaScript and it turned out that um, Oracle jet has implemented all of those 10 tips um, and so I, I could very easily talk about jet in the context of that session as well and um, we explored the website so oraclejet.org and uh, there's a Yeoman generator, there's a reference implementation, the Work Better app, um, there's, uh, there's forums, there's Facebook, there's YouTube, there's Twitter, um, there's all the social media uh, things you would expect from, uh, from a, a technology nowadays. Uh, and um, there's a lot being done with it, and it's a really fun, uh, fun area to work with. So any resources or any uh, information that people can find? Yes. So, so I think the best resource is on oraclejet.org. You'll see the online cookbook. And in that cookbook, all the components that are part of Jet are described. And you see an image of, of the charts and the graphs and the buttons and the forms and everything. But then you can also see how you would define those components in your application. So all the code behind it is also available. So if you click on an image of a chart, then you see the HTML side of that chart. And you also see the business logic, um, the JavaScript side of that chart, the, the JET component. And then you can copy and paste that directly from, um, from the browser. Um, into your application, and you can also tweak it in the browser and use it like JS Fiddle. So you can tweak it and then apply the changes in the browser, and you can see those changes live in the browser. Okay. There's also something else that is interesting. It's called the Application Builder Cloud Service, and this lets you create JET applications without touching any code, um, at least not initially. So it's a, it's a drag-and-drop UI in the browser for creating applications. And typically aimed at managers um, who may not uh, have the time or skills to create applications, but do have data um, in the Oracle Cloud, and they might want to quickly put an application together, and that's what the Application Builder uh, Cloud Service uh, lets you do. And you blog a lot about uh, the topic as well, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay. 
read my blog. There's also the Oracle Jet blog. My blog is blogs.oracle.com slash Gershian. And then there's the Oracle Jet blog, which you find on the Oracle Jet uh, site. Um, and there's lots of news coming out about this, lots of development. Jet's being used everywhere within Oracle. Many Oracle partners are starting to use it, and it's becoming more and more known outside of that as well. Okay, well, thank you. I know you have to run to your next session, but yes. I really appreciate that you came and talked to us about Jet. Thank so you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you.